Try 600 with a little zoo running. Yeah. 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 Try 600. Oh. 360. Oh. Try 600. Oh. 360. Oh. Try 600. Oh. 360. Oh. Try 600. Oh. Yeah. Also, you know what I mean? If you got any stories, you got any stories like kind of like the uh, the uh, we talk kind of talked about it. So when somebody in the streets, they was this big, but then when they got to prison, you realized that they was that big. You got you got any stories on that? A lot of them. You know that that that's um that's mandatory. <clears throat> I knew a nigga in the street that had all the goods. Bars. <laughs> He's gonna call him Mr. Good Bar. Yeah. To protect the innocent. You hear me? Damn. Yeah, me. I need now nah, I need to see all of it. That's push power. I need to see all of it. Take me a picture or something. Okay, then stay right there. Anyway, um, I call him Mr. Good Bar. Mr. Good Bar. Y'all yeah, know what a good boy is? A square, right? That means yeah, it's a square right. business bar. That's a square business bar, goddamn me. So the city I'm talking about come from M Square. That's square business. It's a nigga down that name. We're going to call him Mr. Good Boy. Only niggas from the square know what I'm talking about without saying a name. Who the good is. That's fire. <laughs> They're going to be like, damn, we know. Who the I know somebody going to give it up, but goods is a hard soul name down that way. Matter of fact, it's a family and they call themselves the goods. You understand me? But anyway, one of the goods just happened to be one of my best friends. Somebody stole this from me today. I think, I think somebody went, wasn't you on um Go Stupid Media today? Me? Was I on there? Yes, sir. Yeah, he did a lot. Did, you, did I see you say get them likes up on Go Stupid? Yeah, hell yeah. Well, anyway, on Go Stupid Media, if you go back and look in there, there was a question there that said, Can you ask OG person to tell us about my friend? My his dude named Sammy on there. Uh -huh. Said, can you ask OG person to tell me up, tell a story about my family? Uh, and it said a name on there, and and looked that up. That's where we at. Goods, but anyway, Goods happened to be one of my best friends. One of my best my friend. Me and him grew up together, man. Say Trey, uh, I'm gonna need overtime. Can I go into overkill on her? I'll go ahead. You got the time? Yeah, it, it's gonna last. for you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Well, light your blunt, nigga. Let's go to work. Well, anyway, this guy right here was a friend of mine. When I came down from Texas, I moved down. When I came from Fort Worth and I got put out of Fort Worth as a kid, my mom and him said, I can't, you know, he doing something. He going to get himself killed down there. He got to go stay with his dad. I thought I was too grown. I won't stay with my mama no way anyway. She went to church too much. It was too much church for me. The church Wednesday, Monday through Sunday. Then I just rather go to hell. You understand me? It's too much church at my house. I don't want to go no more. I've been going to church for 17 years for for every other day. I don't want to go. And then they say, when you die, it's every day going to be Sunday. I said, oh, hell no. Every day going to be Sunday. I didn't even like the one Sunday when the one Sunday came, nigga. Them niggas say, every day when you get to heaven, they jumping and shouting. Every day going to be Sunday. What the? Yeah. Hell no. I don't, I don't, shit, I don't think I'm going to go. <laughs> I don't even like this Sunday. You hear me? That was just me, man. But anyway, uh, make a long story short. When I hit the streets, man, I went to the little town, man. I got put out my house, and I went to stay with my daddy. I met a little nigga named The Goods. The Goods was the goodest man in the world, man. Me and him were little kids. We used to wear our little box like we was Bobby Brown. You understand? We, we wore the nice clothes. We put our little beer cars, we sweaters on. You know, wasn't no game banging in the pitch. I was already on some game. I didn't want to take the game to my daddy house. My daddy didn't play that shit. <laughs> and I couldn't stand my mom, but I knew one thing about my daddy. He didn't go to church. Damn, I just hit a lick. Uh -huh. Daddy don't go to church. Oh, nigga, I'm finna go. Nigga, I'm finna go stay with daddy. You hear me, bro? My daddy asked my daddy, "Can I come live with him? I don't stay with mama no more." And I burnt off and I ran away from mama house. Right. I went to job code. When I was in job code, I had to go back to Fort Worth to wait on my check to get there. When my check got there, I bought me a Fleetwood four fleet, a photo Fleetwood Cadillac. Gas station got me a pound of weed, and I jumped on the highway and burnt out. Went down to stay with my daddy. I met the goods. The goods was the best nigga. Me and him got a hole. We kicked. We went out one day to the club. I met the nigga at the park. 
I was walking around trying to roll me up a joint. I couldn't even roll that good. He said, here, give me the paper. Let me roll it for you, man. I didn't even know who the nigga was. Me and that nigga smoked that joint together. We became best of friends. He said he had one, too. And then one time we got a hold of this big old sack of weed. I told him I had some weed. I brought him with me. So we rolled up. We started making us some sacks. We rolled up about a 200 joints. You understand me? <laughs> we went to work. And we'd go down to a little place called the Flats and sell them. But anyway, D good. That was my pot. Damn. Good boy, Mr. Good boy. That was my partner. <laughs> that was my partner. We grew up together. We were just kids. At this time, we were about 18 years old, 17 years old, nigga. Then I ended up doing no kitchen. My first charge going to the penitentiary. I went to the penitentiary. I come out. The goods to be mean. The, the goods to be waiting on. Me. I say the goods. Right. Just say the goods. Right. The goods. Just say, you know, that was my partner, the goods. But anyway, say the goods to be waiting on me, man. And that was my partner. He'd be like, man, you went to jail. See, yeah, all this shit. You know, he never would go. But me and him was just like this. And me and him was the first two young niggas that was in this little place called a flat selling drugs. That's when dope came out. Right. We ran into a dope dealer from Cuba. Name. He was a Cuban. His name was Candy. He said, man, I'm going to give y'all something to go to work. I was like, where we going to sell this? She said, we're going to have to go to the flat. I was like, nigga, we can't go down now. Nigga, my daddy will kill me. He catch me down there. Don't know young niggas go down there. That's the place where the young kids don't hang. It's called a flat. That's where all the older folks is. So I'm down there. We'll sneak in and hang around and sell the dope and leave. He'll give us five rocks and tell us that we can keep 20. $20 was a lot of money back then. Right. But then the drugs he'll give us, we can break that half and still make the money back and double our money. He said, we can keep 20. He said, just bring him 100 back. Here go five stones, bring me back 100. Here go the extra one for you. That's your money. Here we take the five he gives us, bust them holes in half and sell our half and have his money. We I like and he'll give us the same thing and the same thing we was doing it, we was doing, we were doubling up, doubling up. My little partner, he was going hard. You understand me? To be to, be, to make a long story short, um, uh, you know, uh, I kept getting in trouble, kept getting in trouble, kept going, kept going. Um, uh, one time I went home and I, and I lived in, I, my, I got too grown for my daddy. My daddy couldn't feel more, so I moved in with the, with the goods and his granddad. They had a hog ranch. Mm -hmm. Hey, you ever know when a nigga I ain't never know no niggas own fucking hogs? This nigga had hogs everywhere. But to let you know, when you got old granddaddies like that, nigga, they work hard. <laughs> Them old niggas wake up before the sun get up, nigga, be out there getting it. You hear me? Guess what? You ain't finna sleep all day either. It is out. Yep. Get up. Let's go. Where we going? Finna go to the hog. Finna do what? Nigga, I don't feel no money to bite me. Nigga, I'm for but you won't stay over here, nigga. You better act like it. And guess what, nigga? I grab my slot boots and I got on to work. You hear me? Yeah. I'll be back and we'll come home. We'll go sell drugs. We'll peel a little carpet up and put our little money under the thing. And we'll go down there to the place we don't supposed to be and sell our drugs. We start getting our little chains, our little necklaces. We start getting our little, you know. <laughs> Damn. And it's your boy Big Bo. I need everybody, and I'm talking about Lottie Dottie. Everybody, to go subscribe to my boy Trey Six Double O, Trey Six Hundo, Trey Six Double O, Trey Six Hundo. Make it happen, goddammit. On the road to 20k, we at 15. Yeah, let's make it. Let's do it, baby.